Well, hello. It's been a while since I've done one of these uh, videos. So I thought maybe now was the time to get caught up. And uh, I've been struggling with uh, Charlie and his porcelain playmate cat. Actually a porcelain cat. For, a for an abstract artist trying to paint something so that it appears to be really what it is has been a little bit difficult. So there's been times where I've kind of had to stop and try to figure out where I am and spend just a little bit of time thinking about what I'm doing rather than actually putting paint on the canvas. As you can see, some of my abstract kind of things just happened to come into play and kind of broke up this blue a little bit by having what appears to be some sort of light that's kind of shining in there. Um, pretty excited about the bottle because the bottle has got some depth to it and, and again realism's not not what I'm about but uh, I love to look at John Nieto's um, works and kind of think about what he's doing and saw some videos of him recently and course unfortunately he has passed away but there's some important things that he's doing that I like to think about and, and practice and see how I can put things into place I, I really haven't finished hadn't even started over here with uh, with Charlie and putting some putting his body in there so that looks a little bit awkward but uh, I did give him a five toe foot and I thought while we're here I'll go ahead and maybe uh, move that into what's really in the, one of the photographs that I'm using is his foot is really just three toes are sticking out not not as we saw a whole flock of them and maybe I can quickly show you about how I paint with in more of my abstract kind of stuff similar to what you have seen me do with my uh, what you've seen me do with my flower paintings where it's back to that I slap paint kind of thing and, uh, and we're going to put that in there and kind of change that up a little bit and one of the ways that I do mix colors oops, is I don't necessarily do a palette per se, but mix my colors. I kind of have an idea of what the colors are going to do. Sometimes I don't, but uh, I mix them right on the canvas and put them right in like that and just allow them to react. And quite often, well, do I know what color I'm going to put in there next? No. Sometimes I do, but not always. So sometimes when I, I already know what the color is, but sometimes I don't. I just think about what might, might work well. So, uh, so we just kind of put those Reach in there and react to what's already on the canvas. And I kind of like the idea because what's going on here right now, I'm just letting the, the color be kind of thick. And, uh, so the paint will dry thick. 
and we'll also actually give the painting a little bit more depth. It should be pretty cool. So, so I'm going to turn it, shut it down for right now. I'm going to watch the video that I just put together. And hopefully the next one you see, I'll be painting uh, more of Charlie and bringing Charlie together. Now that I've kind of got a feel for, for where I'm kind of going with this painting. So 